One of the most important aspects of acting is reacting, and while many professionals do this all the time without any problem, there have been instances where one actor has crossed the line and absolutely scared the hell out of another. It doesn't happen quite as often as you might think or things considered, but every once in a while, an actor will become too method when they reach deep inside to find their inner truest personas. And the result is a performance that is as purely terrifying as it is pure. Now, my lovely watchers, you will find a particularly similar video to this one on our main What Culture channel if you haven't already seen it, as this shiny piece of content is an add-on commenter edition that features your very own suggestions. Debuting on You Culture, we want to deliver videos that engage with our community and shine a light on all of your brilliant ideas. So if there's anything else you want to see spun around into interactive pics, then the comment section is the place to let us know. For now though, I am the terrifying Ash from What Culture, and these are eight actors who were scared of other actors. Commenter edition. 8. Anthony Perkins ensured Janet Lee would never shower again in Psycho. Noted terrorizer Alfred Hitchcock may have been the director, but it was Anthony Perkins who terrified Janet Lee during the filming of Psycho. The infamous shower scene was the culprit, and going through that filmmaking process left Lee in a state of terror, which would go on to affect her entire life. Since filming the movie, Lee refused to take a shower ever again. The experience of filming her death while showering in the movie had a lasting impact on the actress, and she stuck to baths until the day she died instead. When Lee did choose to bathe in a bathtub, she could only do so if all the doors and windows were tightly locked shut. It's likely, like all of us that have seen it, she replayed the scene in her head every time she set foot in the tub, so it makes sense that the scene affected her the way it did. She said of her bathing method that she is always facing the door and watching, no matter where the shower head is. 7. Jack Nicholson and Stanley Kubrick traumatized Shelley Duvall on The Shining the filming of Stanley Kubrick's adaptation of The Shining is the stuff of legend, but not because the movie was good. I mean, it was good as well, as far as most critics and viewers are concerned, but it was legendary for a far less pleasant reason. Kubrick may have been one of the greatest directors of all time, but he was a tyrant towards his actors. In The Shining, he had his sights set on Shelley Duvall, and he truly did terrorize that woman by making her repeat takes more than a hundred times. He also forced other actors to alienate her and made her life a living hell. It is very well documented documented and incredibly sad. And as for Jack Nicholson, his devotion to the craft only pushed her further and further towards the edge of sanity. Nicholson can be intimidating in any setting, but when he's been directed to strike fear in a co-star, he goes all out. In the scene where he crashes an axe through the bathroom door and says, here's Johnny, Duval can be heard screaming for Jack to stop. This could have been one of two things, since Jack was both Nicholson's first name as well as the name of his character. And rumor has spread that she was actually pleading with her co-star to stop because he was truly scaring her. Whether that is the case or not though, Kubrick's treatment still stands as frightfully wrong. 6. Duncan Raygear gave Ashley Bank the best Halloween scare ever in Monster Squad Monster Squad is a comedy horror flick from the 80s about a group of children who find themselves going toe-to-toe -to -toe against cinematic horror's classic monsters. These include the Gill Man, the Wolf Man, the Mummy, Count Dracula, and others. And Dracula was played by Duncan Raygear, and he scared the hell out of a little girl. While it's true that some children on the set of a movie like this one might have been a little creeped out by seeing their co-stars on set in their costumes or makeup, there is usually a great deal of care taken in making sure they don't wet themselves and run screaming into the arms of their waiting parents. But that is not what happened in Monster Squad, as the director thought it would be best to reveal Count Dracula to a five-year-old girl for the first time on set, and in the middle of the most important scene in the movie. No preparation in getting her ready to see the nice man in makeup was done, so the horror the girl showed on camera would be genuine. Ashley Bank was ready to film her scene, but when Ray Gear showed up for the first time in front of her, he lifts her up by the chin and demands she hand over a jewel. The kid screamed in absolute terror upon seeing his red eyes and fangs, making the fright in the scene genuine, and the therapy bills for the young actress a problem her parents slightly dealt with for years afterwards. 5. Liv Tyler was terrified of faceless strangers in The Strangers the Strangers is a low-budget home invasion horror flick released in 2008, making $82 million on a budget of only $9 million, which says something about the movie's ability to draw an audience. In the movie, Liv Tyler and Scott Speedman play a couple on a remote getaway, but their little vacation devolves into a nightmare scenario when three horrifying strangers show up and decide it would be fun to torture the happy couple. Tyler was asked about her reactions to various parts of the movie and whether or not she was actually as terrified as she appeared, to which she wholeheartedly agreed. And it is no wonder when in the Blu-ray extras, the actress who plays the pinup girl intruder revealed that she'd been told Tyler wanted her fear to appear genuine. The quote is as so, 
I got strict instructions not to let Liv see me in my mask before we shot. She didn't want to have to fake it, and so it was my responsibility to really scare her. And really scare her, she did. 4. Tim Curry terrified child actor Tony Dakota in It Bill Skarsgård may have channeled something when he frightened the child actors on the set of the new It, seeing as the same thing happened nearly three decades earlier when Tim Curry played Pennywise the Clown. Curry had a way of stepping into a character and making it into something unique, yet creepy in a way that few actors could ever hope to emulate. During the filming of It, a 192-minute two-part miniseries, Curry scared the young actor playing Georgie, which he recalled in an interview back in 2017's Fan Expo Canada. There was a point in it, at the beginning of the movie, this little kid called Georgie is sailing his boat down the gutter, and it goes down the drain and Pennywise grabs it. And Georgie puts his hand down the drain and I grab it, and I suggest that he joins me and say, down here, you'll float. And he stopped and said, Tim, you're scaring me. I said, gee, I'm so sorry, but that's what I'm supposed to be doing. It's not entirely surprising that the young man was frightened of Tim in that scene, seeing as it's one where the titular It chomps his arm off and pulls him into a storm drain. Curry expanded on his working with children in the same interview, saying, I have a lot of sympathy for child actors, most of them don't know what the hell they're doing there. 3. Lupita Nyong'o goes method and creeps out Shahadi Wright Joseph in Us in Us, a family is attacked by a group of doppelgangers who come from an underground world populated with similar creatures. One of the four duplicates, Red, was played by Lupita Nyong'o, whose normal character was called Adelaide Wilson. Red speaks in a raspy and broken manner, which is hardly the only unsettling thing about her. Her comparisons are all similarly different from her above-ground counterparts, though they are all violent and seek to kill and replace their counterparts from the world above. Nyong'o's portrayal of Red was particularly creepy, as co-star Shahadi Wright Joseph spoke about following working with Nyong'o, and I quote, She really kind of spooked me out a little bit. She would really get into character and wouldn't talk. It was kind of creepy. It's a lot of fun because you never know which Lupita you're going to get sometimes, which I think makes her perfect for this role because she has so many great, different personalities. 2. Sir Anthony Hopkins made Jodie Foster cringe in fear in The Silence of the Lambs Sir Anthony Hopkins is one of the most celebrated actors of his generation, and his resume pretty much speaks for itself. One of his most famous roles is that of Dr. Hannibal Lecter in 1991's The Silence of the Lambs, though, of course. Lecter is a psychopathic cannibal whose intellect and psychiatric knowledge of the criminal mind make him an ideal advisor when Jodie Foster's FBI trainee, Clarice Starling, seeks his help in finding another serial killer known as Buffalo Bill. In every scene, Hopkins gives off an air of frightening calm, making him one of the creepiest characters in all of fiction. Foster was genuinely frightened of Hopkins throughout most of their filming time together, but it all began at a full table read before they started filming. She spoke about her time working with the legendary actor during an appearance on The Graham Norton Show, and I quote, I never spoke to him, he was scary. The first day we had a reading, and by the end of it, I never wanted to talk to him again. I was petrified. We got to the end of the movie and really never had a conversation. I avoided him as best I could. It was the last day, and he came up to me. I sort of had a tear in my eye. I was like, I was really scared of you. And he said, I was scared of you. There you go. A two for one, then. 1. Mark Scheffler and the rest of the cast of The Last House on the Left terrorize Sandra Peabody Wes Craven's classic, The Last House on the Left, is an intense exploitation horror flick from 1972. The movie stars Sandra Peabody in the lead role as Mari Collingwood, and the manner in which Craven filmed the scenes made Peabody live in fear of pretty much every other cast member on the film. One of the ways Craven got his actors in shape to film their scenes was to tell them to remain in character at all times. Because Peabody was the target of a lot of exploitative horror spread throughout the film, this basically meant that she lived in fear of her co-workers, who stalked and terrorized the young actor throughout the entire filming process. A 2003 documentary titled Celluloid Crime of the Century delved into the making of the film. Most of the cast recalled their time filming with a great deal of nostalgia, but that cannot be said of Peabody. Craven recalled a time on set as not being much acting during the shooting of the film's more violent scenes. Mark Scheffler has also described how he approached filming a difficult scene with Peabody. In his own words, he grabbed her, hung her off a cliff, and said, if you don't get this f***ing scene right now, I'm going to drop you and Wes will shoot it and we'll get a different scene. But it will work because you'll be f***ing mangled. The cast sometimes gets together for reunions, but Peabody never attended. I wonder why. Jesus. Oh, what a lovely list and or other video format that was. I for one sure enjoyed that list and or other video format we just watched together, but hey, out with the old and in with the new because time has passed since then, and we're going to talk about What Culture Horror instead, which is our brand new channel we have just launched for all things spooky, scary, 
weird and wonderful. So if you like lists, we've got them. If you like news videos, we have got those. If you like podcasts, we've got those as well. So there's all sorts of treats for your list and or other video format needs. You can check out on What Culture Horror. It's very good if I do say so myself. I like it a lot and I think you should check it out. In the meantime, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, sacrifice your firstborn child to the overalls of What Culture, and also check out What Culture Horror. Thanks for watching.